found Transnet working, transporting tons and tons of minerals. We have collapsed Transnet. As a result, there are too many trucks on the road. Oh. And too many trucks on the road means death. Because many of them are not in good condition. Many of them just turn the way they like because mm. they know they are not at risk. Mm. Let's go and fix Transnet. Some people says that he have a giraffe view, but as for me, I believe this man have a prophetic words because the things he get to say, they end up happening. And when you get to see what have happened yesterday in Boxerback, you will definitely understand that this guy, he speaks things that will happen, but we seem not to believe in him. We seem to doubt him. We seem not to uh, pay attention to what he get to say because he's a polit uh, uh, an opposition leader. Instead of us opening up our eyes and try to see what can be done so that uh, we can be able to avoid this kind of a strategy, instead we don't do so. But we kind of like looking from uh, which political party are we supporting, which leader do we like the most, who have done what, who have done this and that. Now today, we are about to bury people who are just innocent and they have to die in such a way. Guys, did you see how these people they were burned alive? Did you get to see this video which is trending on social media of people who are still alive but they don't have skin? All the skin is played, guys. Imagine you had clothes on and your clothes, they got burned. They even burn your skin. I mean, you can't even look at this, at this image two times. All because of some nonsense which had happened. All because of some negligence which came from the, uh, 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 the government and, and, uh, and, uh, uh, and the truck drivers. Yes, here I'm blaming both parts, whether it is the government, whether it is the t uh, tax drivers. Because when you get to listen to what Julius Malema had said, Obviously, these are the things that if we have a good government, they were not going to look aside, close the blind eye and saying that, okay, it is just Julius Malema. We know Julius Malema like to talk too much. Instead, they're supposed to consider these kind of things and try to see a proper measure. Try to see a proper way that will help uh, the government to not have this kind of uh, 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 strategy whereby you end up losing so many people and damaging a lot of people because right now you can see that people are they are they, 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 they are no more alive some belongings of people are damaged uh some road obviously those the, the old area is damaged and you get now to see how this government will come and try to put the mind on, on it because this is this is one of their their opportunities where they like to go and steal the money from the government. Whenever there is this kind of a strategy, people who get to take tenders from the government, they are so excited. They know that okay, fine, we see the the train uh, rails are damaged. We need to fix it. The road is damaged. We need to fix it. The whole neighborhood around people were there. We need to fix it. But what about the family that have lost life? Who's going to fix this family? The pain that this family or the pains that these people are going through, those who managed to survive from this fire, uh, uh, I mean, a truck, uh, gas tank uh, explosion, who's going to make them be healed from this pain? Guys, we're talking about a family who have just lost four members from one family. Four members in one family. Why? Why?
There are certain things we don't need to get this far if we would have done things in a good way. Yes. There are certain things we can do without, um, without causing any drama, without making other people lose their life, all because we feel like, no, the counseling or the honing that we are getting from opposition parties or opposition leaders, we can't do it because if we do it, it's like we are giving them power. Guys, do you know that if Transnet was working properly, do you think that these trucks, they're supposed to be trending on the road right now? Because this Transnet was supposed to be carrying all the merchandise for companies, gas, petrol, cars, all these big uh, merchandise. Since the transit is, for, is supposed to be for the government, obviously the price and the tax is supposed to be very small. And this was going to motivate a lot of companies to start uh, uh, supplying uh, transnet with their uh, items or their the belongings so that transnet can, tra can they can try to transport it around the country. But since the transnet is down, since there is a lot of uh, uh, stupid things that has been going in the transnet, even the service is very poor from the transnet, whereby you give them your merchandise, they told you that you get it in one week or one month, they end up taking three months. In that three months, you have to go and make too much pressure from them. You have to go and complain about it. Something that they suppose just to upload it on the train and bring it to us, so ever they're supposed to deliver it. Instead, that thing, it will take weeks, months in order for them to uh, upload it on the train. Transnet, it is down. It is fucked up. Now this end up sending all the companies, all the businessmen to either buy their own trucks or either renting trucks around. And now the same government that have killed the trust, uh, I mean the transnet, they failing to give people proper license. They failing to um to 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 check everyone if they deserve to have uh, 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 that uh, uh, license for them to be driving the trucks. Because here you're not gonna tell me that this truck, which had gas, it was the first truck to pass in that tunnel. No, 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 no. Each and every day, each and every tunnel, there are plenty of trucks that pass around. If you know how to drive, you're not going to go and squeeze yourself into a tunnel. But just because you are so in a hurry, you want to, to rush things, you are driving like you, you are rushing to go and fetch your side sick chicks or girlfriend, see what you have cost now. And for your own information, the driver who was driving uh, this uh, gas tank, he managed to survive because the moment he scratched himself in that tunnel, he could hear and f smell that the, the guy's tank was broken and the guy's was going out already. So this man, he stopped the car, he jumped out of the car, and then he started asking all the cars which are supposed to go inside the tunnel to let them know that there is a, a gas tank which is broken already so don't go inside make your eaten even cause the traffic as he was going both sides in the video as you can see all the cars were stopped the car that you are seeing there it was a car of someone who got panicked this lady she could not do much she did not know whether she should have moved a car or not so she had to leave the car inside the tunnel. And she had forgotten something. She had to go and fetch it. I'm afraid to tell you, perhaps she's among people who also died. Uh, who died.
Because this gas is, the moment it got broken, it will take the whole oxygen. It will remain gas. So, as far these guys who can go, if it happened that there is someone sitting somewhere with a light, once they switch on that light, the whole thing is going to be broken. The whole gas tank will, will get explored. And that's what happened yesterday. Innocent people have to lose their life. Innocent people who have to be victim from all this explosion, all because someone failed to do the job properly, all because someone failed to assume their responsibility from the beginning. Because if Transnet was running, I believe that perhaps this company or this uh, the, the company that supplied these guys to these tanks, they will have been going to Transnet and put all those container or tanks uh, tanks of uh, gas on the on the train and the train will transport it and you will get to see for yourself that the circulation of these trucks on the road it will be fewer and we're not going to be having this traffic whereby you're leaving your house at six o'clock but you end up arriving at work late because there's some traffic somewhere waiting for you julius malema whether we like it or not this man he have a prophetic words in his mouth. Perhaps what makes him different is because he's not a pastor. And I believe if, if he was a pastor, even people who are in the government right now who don't believe, who don't want even to listen to Julius Malemo, believe in what he has to say, then I believe these people, they, they will have been already in his church by now. Because this is not the first time he get to speak about something. We found Transnet working transporting tons and tons of minerals we have collapsed transnet as a result there are too many trucks on the road oh. and too many trucks on the road means death because many of them are not in good condition many of them just turn the way they like because mm. they know they are not at risk mm. let's go and fix transnet to come and these things end up happening where it is not happening tomorrow, but after a day tomorrow, this thing is still going to happen. And he have overview it. I mean, he, he, he oversee it and he spoke about it. This video, you all know it. He spoke about this, but no one pay attention to it. So we had to go and look more deep to see exactly what this man have said about this kind of things. Now that we're experiencing this kind of incident. That, uh, uh, guys, I think um, it is very good we try to do what is right. If you are having a responsibility, for an example, if you are working for the government in any activities that you are doing, please make sure that you do your job properly. If you are being hired in a cover, uh, I mean, in a private company, uh, or whether it is in the mining, whether you are a truck driver, whether you are you are working at the engine garage or anything, please, 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 try your best to always work in the professional way. Avoid doing things in a crazy way because a small mistake that you make on the place of your work, it will cost other people life. I hope this message will help each and everyone who is having a responsible, responsibility one way or another to help the nation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy your day. Merry Christmas to all of you. Ciao, ciao.